got another purple sweet pepper I wanted to share with you today called the, the uh, pepper O'Day very cool looking pepper we'll be back in just a minute Okay. Well, here's the pepper, and it has a beautiful purple fruit. I like it. And here's the plants. We started them from seed back in January. And as you can see, these guys are, they have outgrown these little cups, and they're ready for me to transplant them into some six inch cups and uh, start the hardening process so we can get them ready for the earth garden. So let's get that started. has been transplanted and we'll harden it off and we'll be back here in a few weeks. Well the purple O'Day just brought them out of the house and I'm going to harden them off four or five days and put them out in the earth garden. So we'll be back in about a week. Well when we get ready to uh, go out to the earth garden and plant our sweet peppers um, I want you to take a look at a uh, video it's on our playlist and Nancy will put a, um, a link to it at the end of this video and the name of that video is how to grow sweet peppers and it shows you the process I go through of prepping the ground and installing the, the, the bamboo canes two foot canes how to put the, um, the wire cage around the pepper to support it from wind how to use fish as a fertilizer and how to cut that up and put it in the hole I get this from my local bait and tackle shop. You can get it at any bait and tackle shop or if you got a fresh fish market near you, go up there and ask them if you can have all their heads and guts. They usually just give that to you for free and you got free fertilizer. But that's what I use and also some garden lime, which I, I get this at Lowe's. It's pretty cheap. It's less than 10 bucks for a 40 pound bag and 40 pounds will last you quite a while. So use that. So um, use these items and um, go take a look at that video to show you exactly how to, to install all this. Well, we've had our uh, sweet peppers installed in the garden for about a month and had a real rough spring, high winds, cool temperatures, overcast skies, and a lot of rain for four weeks. So our um, sweet peppers have struggled, but the last week we've had real pretty sun. It's starting to warm up, and I think they're starting to come to life. So we're gonna take a look at where they're at. The first month was a hard one for them, but they made it, and we'll see how they do in the days ahead. And I think once the, now that the weather's warming up they're uh, they're going to really explode so let's uh, go out in the garden and take a look at how they're looking wanted to give you a little update on the purple o'day they're, they're they're getting some traction and i wanted you to take a close-up look at them um, these peppers they don't start out green and then turn red and then turn purple they start out sort of like a yellow banana pepper so they don't start out green and um, they'll get the yellow fruit on there and then the fruits themselves turn purple as it ripens. So it's really a pretty looking, pretty looking little pepper. So take a good look at what they look like and we'll be back very shortly and uh, we'll harvest some of these and take a close look at them over on the harvesting table. So we'll see you soon. Well, here's our two purple O'Days and um, one of them really had a hard time getting going. So yeah, as you can see, he's kind of scrawny and puny, but the other one, he, he's doing just fine. And I'm, I'm already starting to put on some of the uh, purple, beautiful purple fruits. So let's take a close up look at these and see what we got. There's the one I was talking about. He, he had a real hard time getting going this year. So 
he doesn't look too healthy, not a really good one. But if you look at this one, see how much better and healthy this plant is. This plant's a happy plant. And if you can see up close, you can see how beautiful the, the fruit is up in there. See those purple ones? So let me pull those off. We'll head over to the processing table and clean them up and um, take a look at them up close at how beautiful they are. See you over there. Well, I got the purple O'Day. I only got four of them off out there. But boy, are they pretty. And I brought them over here to the processing and the harvesting table and I washed them up a little bit. I just wanted you to take a look at them. As you can see, they're not as big as the regular bell peppers that you're used to seeing, but man, are they sweet. And they are a beautiful color. I love the color of that. I love anything purple for some reason. It's my favorite color, but especially when it's in food. So if you've never tried these before, you may want to give them a shot in your garden and enjoy them for yourself. And we hope that you've enjoyed watching our little video on how to grow these purple O'Day and uh, help you understand it really ain't that hard to do them. Pretty fun. So we uh, hope you enjoyed it. And if you like our videos, we ask you to subscribe to our channel and be a part of our YouTube family. So until we see you next time, always remember, by his Amen. hands, we are fed. fed. Give us, Lord, our Amen. daily bread. Amen. Amen. Have a blessed day. Thanks for watching our videos. We really love making them. If you like our videos, please like our Facebook page to get the latest tips and tricks. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel to get the newest video. Like it. It would really inspire and encourage us. But most importantly, share it to encourage others. We'll welcome your comments and questions. Thank you. Have a blessed day.